So he said the the middle paragraph of Ois Dalad was at the yeah. That based on what we said, we can explain with the Rechevshe why the Rebbe Marash brings the Negeya Matan Torah, the Pasuk Arya Mishog, Arya Shog Mila Yira Hashem Alikim Dibe Mila Yinabe, and he says that this what's the cry of the of the Arya? What's what's the Likim Dibe? What's the Dibe that God is speaking that the Pasuk is referring to? He says the dibur danecha by the kach which is kesser. Says the Rebbe the kavana here is not stam kesser classic kesser makif, but the essential level of kesser, the silent level of kesser, that's mizdika level. The shtika conveyed also in the also in the word kesser katr lizeir, which means wait a moment, which is higher than the makif level. That seems to be a second. And then he says, Va'ad, this includes the Atzmi Yisakesa, the very essence of the Keser. And the point being, that this Atzmi Yisakesa level, was revealed by Matan Torah, and Eich Havai Likecha, is Nimshech all the way down in Leilam Haza, Arye Shoh Agmila Yira. That's the source of the Arye. and will be revealed in the Arye. It's connected to the Arye, the Torah, the Mitzvah, the Amshach happens. And is revealed, lost in love. Arya Kabokar Yechal Tevet. Did we start this? We started. Oh, one second. Up to his hey. Okay, so the Indian, the Indian is he explained that Torah is called Moshe Lakadmoini. So there's two Pirushim, one like the opposite of the other. One is the Torah, which is it is as it is revealed down here, is a marshal to the way the Torah is the Maila. The Inyan of Shleim Melech said three thousand descending Mesholim to explain one Yin after the other. Three thousand corresponding to the three Olimus. And the second Pirush, that even Torah Shlemayla is a marshal for that which is higher than it, and that is the author of the Torah. And that's the of David the Melech. He was the Zayar says he was Mechaber Torah Shilamayla with the Eibishter. Torah Shilamayla is it is an Atzilus. So he was Mechaber and Mamshich in Torah, as it were the Nois in Torah. The Eidin Sof the Kadmoi Nishal Oila. So the title over here of Moshe la Kadmoi is Moshe goes on the Torah, and it is a Moshe for the Kadmoi. The, the Eibishter precedes everything. The first stage was similarly, but the Torah down here is a Moshe for the levels above it. And explain the difference between the Ishtalshalus of Torah and the Ishtalshalus of Ishtalshalus. Both descend through the Elamis, and both are in and of what the descending level is merely an echo or a Moshe, the level above it. However, in say the Ishtalshalus, the net effect of the tzimtzum is to eclipse the level above it in terms of its revelation but not so in Torah because Torah is in atzmi because the anoichi is invested in Torah and the abishter limited by nothing can be expressed even in gvul therefore in the lower levels the essence is present that's not so ishtaushalus itself which is oir not a revelation of Etzim, and the oh, revelation by definition means revealed more or revealed less, or not revealed at all, but not so Etzim. Etzim isn't a question of revealed or not revealed, it's a question of being present or not present. And the Etzim is present in every level of Torah, which is why, as we explained the Maimba, he's saying that when a Jew learns any level of Torah is connecting to the Etzim, and not only the very essence, but all of the levels connected to all of the higher levels, the sources, the levels connected to this level that he's learning, he also connects to in some way. Namely, when he learns in Pshat, so is, as he's learning Pshat, he's also connecting to the level of Torah as it is in the Rambas and Drush and Sod, not articulated necessarily, but can be. 
and is by the Chachomim Shebedoyram and the Rebbe in our generation most dramatically. But a Yid connects to every level of Torah on every level. Because the Moshal of Torah does not conceal an eclipse like the Moshal in Ishtar Shalas does. Or like the, the Tzimtzum. The Tzimtzum produces a lower level that's not overtly traceable even to the level above it. Like the physical lion is not consciously overtly traceable to to the highest Akkadesh, not to not the Kesed, the Kesed that still is not not Kesed. And he said before, Pneumius HaKesed Mamesh. Certainly not. The Tzimtzum eclipses all of that, veil after veil after veil in the air. Not so in Teir, Moshe Lakad Moini, that the Tzimtzum only produces a lower level, but does not the presence, the Atzmizdiki presence of the Anoichi is present throughout. And that is the whole Chiddush of Matan Torah. And this is the whole Mail of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, which is what precipitates and is one with Matan Torah. So creation is through Shemalikim, and that creates a ladder of divinity, which means further and closer, distance, vast distances. Bresh is Borolikim. As the Pasuk says, It doesn't tell us exactly the difference between Shem Kim and Shem Shim Dalad Yud here. But in general, we can see, get the sense, that Shem Kim is the Tzimtzum Bechlal, and Shem Shim Dalad Yud is the articulation of the power of the Tzimtzum, Shamarti Leilomi Dai, that I said to my world, and each creation actually, Die thus far and no further. Then even the higher level, which was Nizgal by Avram Avil of a die, Avram Avino, was Magal, the Shin Shen, Shin Shen Dalad Yud. And there he revealed the higher level of a die, Beli Kusi Lechol Berye, that I've sufficient godliness, as it were, for all of creation, pointing to a source that's higher than creation, an inexhaustible source. Still, all of this is Mamalakalam. But Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim is the transcendence of all the levels, but the Chiddush is that the levels remain. Not the levels are imploded and replaced with Bligvul. The levels remain, but they're not limited. A Yid learns Torah, so the level remains. He's learning the Pshat, he's learning the Halacha. And with all of the Akbalas, Pshat, or the Halacha, or Drush, or Remez, or Sod, but in that which he learns is the Anoichi is present. It's fundamentally infinite. And it's connected to all the levels of infinite. And then he brings that to bear to the world. The world becomes a Dira Loyizbarach. It remains a finite world, but it becomes a Dira Loyizbarach. So what this all happens by Tzies Mitzrayim, by the Gil, Hashem to the level, the Gil of Hashem which explains is the high Hashem as you said before at length, in such a way, even that the Anoichi is invested in Avay Lekecha, what that means is that Avay Lekecha become one, the Bleak Vul and Gvul become one. I am expressed in both of them. And my, my Bleak Vulness is expressed in my Gvul. And all this began the Shredish Nisim. With the part which is with the commandment of Achidish Hazel Lachem, this month should be for the first month, Shebehem Shech Lazem Dubay the Sinina Pesach. And immediately he goes on to talk about Cotton Pesach. So the Ying in Zebola Achriach on the Parshish Pot, and all this comes following Parshish Pot. Kedisa Be Medresh, a Moshal Beis Matronis Doimis, the Moshal of the two similar matrons. And the child is me, G'dayla, Mizu, Shishtayim, G'dayla. Both are G'dayla. Why are they both G'dayla? Because they both reveal the rots and the alien, the bleak fullness of Torah and Mitzvahs. Finally, if you shall yodam, Nimshach Pechin, as Godel Havaya, the Godel Havaya, implying here not the level that Avram related to, but the Godel Havaya, the second level. But the child is even within bleak fullness, we learned in the previous Maim, and Eira Seva Kalalmin. They're still... Although there's no distance, as we explained, but there is bigger and smaller. But still a dip between the Avoid and Tzadik in Pesach, Lamshach Shadi Avedis Bali Chuva, which is the Yenapod. And there's an advantage among each one. 
Meaning, what do you mean he consulted with him? It means it's the kavon is you. You are going to be megala likus in the world. If you shall yodam nasa gilu am shachalamat through the tzaddikim to the mitzvahs, there be mamshech likus lamata down here. Ella, she ingin zeh. He said didn't say the previous maimer. You ingin zeh or adayim be medid vakbole. The way the tzaddikim relatively speaking is still a limited one and a predictable one. But the Elish of Avedis of Bali Shuva and the mile of Avedis of Bali Shuva is as Omra of Mokmish Bali Shuva, Emdim Sadikim Gibudim, Enyu Hilm Lamisham, but Bali Shuva stand that Sadikim cannot stand there because of its great Giloi, Shuin Shalom Mile Miakbal. So here he's teaching the fusion of Gvul and Bligvul. The Tzorich Leo is Nibur. Beis Eifane Avaida. There has to be the fusion of both Eifanim. Of both Yavayid of Tzadikim and Bali Tshuva. And how is that? Through revelation, which is beyond both of them. That's the Anoichi. That is the Anoichi that's higher than both Gvul and Bli Gvul limit and beyond limit, infinite and finite. The Avayid of Tzadikim, the Avayid of Bali Tshuva. And through them, it therefore is this gala, even in Gvul, the they fuse together. And that's what redemption is. And hence, in Nisan, they were redeemed then because in Nisan was the union of Paraduma and, and the Vedic Sadikim. And in Nisan, we are destined to be redeemed. And they were the hope would be forever Shabbos. And tranquility, Kemishakosov, and Niskov, Havaya Levada. And God alone is exalted, which he doesn't explain further, and the end of the Maimur, they do not have. Poshet means, with Niskov, Havaya Levada, the God alone will reign supreme and be reflected in all of existence. Okay, so. The I'll read to you the incentives, so I'll read to you the overview. Risa Oilom was the gilu of she of Shem Shindal Jud, which is Akbol and Simpson, Shamarti Lelom may die. And that causes crea creation in such a way that the, the creations are the source of each level of creation is concealed from the created result. That then, namely, therefore, that the Nivra down here is like a marshal for its source in the spiritual world. And so it traces back as he traced it in the Maima. Each level, as a result of the Tzimtzum, is far removed from its source. Like Erd Nechayshech down here, they're just a marshal for Erd Nechayshech Lamayla. The area that he brought in the mind, which they don't bring in the Teichon in Yonim. Mitzis Mitzrayim is the big Chiddush of Gilish Mavaye, which is the Tzir, the exodus from all limits through the Amshach of Atzmos that happens by Matan Teira. Famous Sikh Rebbe explains. That Moshe Rabbeinu stained it to the Eibishter. Question: Lomba hele oisa. Why do you deal badly with your people? Since you've sent me, it's only gotten worse. Is actually a critical achon of a as we're learning now in the Maimer that the whole Indian, the whole Indian of Matan is the. The tzir of mitzar mikvuli, but the gvul remains, and therefore seichel has to understand. So therefore, zachon of matan teira, Moshe is asking a question because that's the whole point of matan teira. It's to imam shechalikus in seich in gvul. 
as the token and Yonim continues, and this is through this is drawn even in Ivroim through Torah and Mitzvahs, go about the elevating the world. So what do we affect that in each creation its shodesh can be revealed in it? And then the difference between the marshal of Taylor, Taylor is a marshal for Kadmoni Shalayla. Moreover, the various levels in Taylor are marshal for the levels above that. So, what's the difference? The difference is that the, the marshal of Taylor is not concealed ultimately, it reveals Megala, the source of the marshal. Whereas the Mesholim of creation, the Tzimtzum, creates a real concealment until we change it through Taylor and Mitzvahs. Again, because the etzim is present in every level of Torah. Creation is a creation of God. Torah is not a creation of God. Torah is an investor of God. And all this begins, Rishchidosh Nisan, that's how it's a tzaddikim, after the Achon of Parshas Pada, of it is a tshuva, Now it's part of before of the Sadiqim, but then it was verse of the Sadiqim, and then came part of. So their fusion of Avedis Sadiqim, Avedis Achuva, which is essentially Gvul and Blig, relatively speaking. So their fusion is through revelation, which is that which is beyond them, that's Anoichi, that's the Pnimis of Shemavaya, which is higher than both Gvul and Bligvul. And that fuses the two, and that's what Gula is, which began Rishchidesh or sets all in moment, uh, sets set, set all in motion. Rishchidesh Nisan. Okay, we can start the next Maima, which I didn't learn myself, so we'll learn it together. Let's begin because it'd be nice to finish the next two before the Seder. There are two Maimorim on Shabbos Hagodl. I'm sorry. Which is this? The is still Rishchidish Nis in the second mimer, and then Zoyster is and some is Shabbos. So this is the first month for you, the first month for the months of the year. Medayik b'zeh hakad morat marashab. So the Rebbe Rashab is medayik the bala ilula the base Nis. This was Rishchidish Nis. Seventy years ago. This was It's a head because it incorporates all the 12 months of the year. Just like in the head, in a general way, all the kachas of the nefesh are incorporated, are all present. And then it descends from the head. All the limbs get their particular life force and, and animation. So too, incorporates the, the, the life force of the whole year. And each month gets its allotted portion. Each day has 30, each month has 30 days. And then a further breakdown into each individual. So first it's a general amshacha, a 30-day amshacha. And then there's a, a ischalko, so every day's amshacha. So that's what Rosh Hashanah is, incorporates the highest of the whole year. And then it's allotted and broken down. So obviously, Rishchidesh Tishrei is the Rishon, is the first of all of the months. The law Merkan, why does the Pasuk say Rishon, that what is the first month? It is Chedesh Nisan. But Prati says in more detail, in because of Zenem are basing Yonim. You look at the post, like there's two things mentioned here. Ingen or Aleph, Shechredish Nisan Rish Chadoshim. That is, Nisan is the first of the month. First of the month. Ingen or Beis, Shechredish Nisan Rish and the Chodshi Ashon. So 
So it seems the difference is Chedesh and Isin is first thing is it's the first. It starts. It's, it's the number one. But the emphasis of the second part seems to be learned further from saying correctly is that it's connected to all Rishon Lachot Sheyashon. It's not just the first in the line, but it's a first as it relates to all of the months. Let's see. The question that Rebbe Rashab is asking, that Rosh Chodesh Nisan is the Rosh Hashanah, he gal mashenem Rosh Chodesh Nisan who reish chadoshim. It also questions the first statement that it's the first of the month. Why? Rosh Hashanah koyl the sachai is of kol yud beis chadoshim. It's Rosh Hashanah that is the highest of all the 12 months. So that's the question on what is said that it is the Rishon Chadoshim. Let's read. Oh, as we said, I'll read it further. I'll read it I'll explain. Okay, so there's two questions. What are the two questions? The first question is that the Pasik says that it's the first, which means it's Kailal, all, all of them. No, it's not Tishra yes. The second question is when the Pasik says Rishan Khachi Ashana. which implies, again, a relationship to the individual months. So how can we say that Nissan has this relationship with all the months that follow? As we said before, each month it gets, it's allotted, it's a of 30 days, each, and, each, and then it's broken down into days. So two in Yonim, the Roish component and the Amshacha component is conveyed in the Pasuk of our Pasuk, and both things belong to Tishrei, not to Nisan. Klau and the Amshacha Pratis. It's every month is, is, has, its, has its relationship with Tishrei, getting its allotted portion. Yet the Pasuk is saying, by saying Rishen, Lachem, Lachot Shashon, is saying no, that each month has its individual Hamshacha from Nisan, but it's from Tishrei. So there's the Klal and there's the Amshacha. Both belong to Tishrei, and the Pasuk is saying, no, it's Nisan. Let's finish the question. The Ois, Gam Soich Lov and Oim, but in Mechredish, Hazel Lachem, Rishinu Lachem. Twice the Pasuk says, this month for you, it's the first month for you, Lachem Daike. What's this emphasis in the word to you? Maya Sof, the Tevis Lachem. The word wouldn't be there, it would change nothing. Mechredish is there. Is 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 Reish Chadoshim, Rishin Lachot Shashon. Without the word Lachem, obviously God's talking to Eden. What's the emphasis in the word Lachem? Okay, it's a baby's Darshan to be continued. Actually, not on Monday. I'm traveling again. It's a baby's Darshan Tuesday. So hopefully everybody will get together at the end of the Maimer and this ice as well.